Let's take a look at the weasel family and some of their track characteristics. The weasels that I get to track are the river otter, mink, short, and long tail weasels. All weasels show five toes on their front foot and five toes on their hind foot in good clear tracking substrate. I find river otter tracks and sign along many of our waterways here in the northwest. I also find mink tracks and sign along the same waterways, but less often than river otter. Long and short tail weasels are a bit more elusive, but I find their tracks and sign along waterways associated with grazing lands. If you research what each of these animals feed upon and their predatory prey relationships, this will help you where to look for their sign. River otter tracks are a great example of this family of animals, so let's look more closely at its front and hind foot. Here is a left front and right hind foot of a river otter. Take a quick mental note of the shape of these tracks by drawing an imaginary line around each track. You can include the claws or not in your sketch. I don't find the shape of the weasel family tracks particularly helpful but it is a good practice to look at shape and can be helpful in distinguishing front from hind in blurry tracks. Next I look at symmetry by drawing a line down the middle of each track. Since otters slash weasels have five toes that show in their tracks most often, I draw a line through the middle toe, toe three, down through the center of the track and through the heel pad or heel area. Look at the front foot first. The right and left half look very similar. However, if you look closer, you will notice that toe 1 is smaller than toe 5 and a bit lower down, so it is slightly asymmetrical. The hind foot is much more asymmetrical compared to the front, with the inside toe also being smaller and lower down in the tracks. These smaller inside toes, or toe 1 of the river otter, is a great way to tell left from right feet. You can also draw various lines for comparison, like from toe 1 to 5. The more asymmetrical, the more angled this line will be. Now let's look at these tracks from the toes to the heel. Both front and hind feet tend to show five toes on each foot. Of course, this depends on substrate. Beginning from the inside toe of each foot, we have toe 1, toe 2, toe 3, toe 4, and toe 5. Everywhere you see a point on a toe, that is a claw. So on the front foot, there is a claw on toes 3, 4, and 5. On the hind foot, there is claws showing on toes 2, 3, 4, and 5. As you can see, not all of these toes are showing claws in this substrate. Special note, otter toes look like teardrops when the claws are present. Moving to the palm pads of each foot, I notice that they look lobed, more so on the front foot than the hind foot. Each foot has four palm pads, but they are fused instead of individual, which makes the palm look like one whole piece. There is quite a large negative space between the toe pads and the palm pad, and no hair is present. On the front foot you can see finger-like depressions, but fingers are not as deep as the toe pads. Special note, this is important because this is something to look for when distinguishing otter tracks from raccoon tracks. On the rear foot there is also a large negative space between the toe pads and the palm pad, and no hair showing. I also see less finger depression than the front foot. And finally, the front foot shows a heel or carpal pad. The presence of this little round heel pad distinguishes this as a front foot versus the hind foot, but does not always show. These river otter tracks are a good example of the morphology of all weasel tracks. But substrate always plays a role in what is presented in any track on any given day. Compare your own observations over time and don't forget the journal. Similar track species, Raccoon, Pine Martin, and Fisher, and even Coyote when the fifth toe is absent.